KPRC 2 News begins right now with breaking news. Breaking right now, a boil water notice in effect for the entire city of Houston. More than 2 million Houstonians are impacted by that notice, which came more than eight hours after a power outage at a water purification plant. If you live anywhere on this map that is outlined in red, you are included in the boil water notice. That means everyone should boil their water for at least two minutes, then let it cool before using it to drink, cook, bathe, or brush your teeth. As a result of the boil water notice, Houston ISD, Spring Branch ISD, and Aldine ISD will be closed tomorrow. All Yes Prep Public Schools also closed tomorrow. Aleaf and Fort Bend ISDs have some schools that are impacted, but they will be open. Students there will be given bottled water. We know many of you have questions tonight. Our Bill Barajas getting answers from city officials. Bill, what are they saying? Well, the boil water notice was prompted by a drop in water pressure due to a power outage here at the East Water Purification Plant. Officials tell me that the notice could be in effect for several days. The citywide notice was put out Sunday night. The problems, though, began hours earlier. We are still investigating all the details. From what we can tell, the power disruption started about 1030 um, and then uh, pressure alarms went off. It took a I, I want to say about an hour or so to start re recovering the pressures. How long were you guys without power? I don't have that exact amount of time right now. Yvonne Williams Forrest is the director of Houston Water. She tells me the water pressure quickly dropped. The normal pressure in the system has to be above 35 pounds per square inch or PSI. Um, in an emergency, you can go as low as 20. And during this event, we had some uh, pressure monitors that did register uh, pressures below 20 PSI. You know how low it got? No, I do not know that. On Twitter, Houstonians were angry, not shy about sharing their opinions on why it took so long for the city to notify the public. One person said, I guess the only person who can send a city of Houston emergency alert is off today. Another said, you tell us after my kids had bass and brushed their teeth. Forrest tells us the notice was put out when all the information was able to be verified. The time between when the event happened and the notice is due to each event being unique and having to go out into the field and verify, communicate with TCEQ, fill out all the steps and make sure the information is correct. This is what Forrest says happens next. We are waiting for TCEQ to approve our sampling plan. We will begin collecting samples first thing in the morning, about 18 hours to incubate, and um, we should have results, submit those to TCQ and get approval to lift the boil water notice. And four says she expects the notice to possibly be lifted by Tuesday. We reached out to the TCEQ in a statement. They said we are working closely with the city of Houston and stand ready to review the city's water sample results and offer any technical assistance that may be needed. We're live in the Galena Park area tonight. Bill Barajas, KPRC 2 News. Bill, thank you. And just moments ago, the city of Bel Air issuing a boil water notice as well. The city saying it is, quote, out of an abundance of caution. The city is closely testing and monitoring water pressure and water quality there. For a closer look of the map of the impacted area and what you should do during this boil water notice, head to our website, click to Houston.com. Right on the homepage, we've got a full list of the schools that are impacted.